Hey, what's up everyone? John here from Cast and Spear, and today I want to do a quick little unboxing video from what Tim over at Florida Fishing Products sent me. They are really cool because they take 3% of all sales and donate it to conservation. They have a awesome podcast. They also sell some fluorocarbon and some really nice braided line. But enough about all that stuff. Let's dive right in to the meat and potatoes, which is this Osprey 4000. And when I was talking with Tim, I was like, hey, I fish Southern California and I've been doing a lot more fishing in Baja. What is the reel that you recommend for going for, say, yellowtail or bonito? Because I know you guys go for snook and reds and, and all those other cool fish over in Florida. But what do you got for the SoCal boys over here? And he recommended his Osprey 4000. So he shipped me out this one. I was able to take it on my latest Baja trip. I have some footage of that at the very end of this video, so make sure you stay to the end. But first impressions are out the gate. It's a nice lightweight reel. I like the handle. It's also nice and light. The bigger grip really did make it easy to kind of crank down harder on the fish and uh, be able to get them into the boat faster, which is nice. These reels come fully greased ahead of time, so they're very smooth. I mean, this handle isn't that heavy, and you can see that, you know, just with a little bit of force, that rotor just spun around. It's also nice that that's a carbon rotor, which adds to the lightness. But let's get into some of the tech specs. It's actually a 10 plus one ball bearing system. It has 5.2 to one gear ratio. And regarding the line capacity, I'm only gonna talk about it in braid, but if you were going 10 pound braid, you can get 625 yards. And if you go 20 pound braid, you can get 280 yards. Right now I'm just taking it apart for you at a high level just so you can see some of the components in a little bit better detail. I actually gave this reel to the coach who's throwing it through the gauntlet. He's beating it up so we can take it apart and kind of see how it lasted over a couple of months of like really hardcore heavy duty fishing. And as you can hear right there was the anti-reverse switch which located underneath the rotor. The one thing that I wish the spool had which my pen battle 2 does is a little bit of rubber so that when you tie your line to the spool you don't need to put any kind of tape or backfill it with mono, but that's not that big of a deal. I just used some electrical tape um, before I did my Arbor Knot. Uh, the drag system on this is really nice. It comes three carbon fiber discs and three metal washers. It's supposed to be a very hardcore drag. It's rated at 24 pounds for this 4,000 model. And if you get the 1,000, it's 20 pounds. And then the rest, it's either 22 or 24. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little quick unboxing video. I just wanted to showcase a new up and coming company. Just put the word out there that they're around. So in case you're looking for something that's not the status quo, you can check them out. Tim, reach out to him. He's a very nice guy. They're also coming out with a version two of this product that should launch sometime in November. Definitely like and subscribe. So when we finish our full beat down of this reel, we can share with you the full review and hopefully do one on the next version that's coming out. But until next time, keep those lines tight, everyone. See ya.